So tables are a way, naturally, of creating tables. Um, now, that seems like it's simple and straightforward, but the truth is we're getting away from an era in which people use tables not for creating tables, but for laying, doing layouts. So if you had like a two-column layout, you'd probably design a two-column table and put things in each of those two cells and maybe space out the table. Nowadays, that's considered very bad form. Um, people still do sometimes use tables for doing layout, but really it's something you want to avoid. So you might say, why didn't they just get rid of tables? Well, the truth is, sometimes you have things that are tables. That is, they are data in tabular form. And in that case, for example, here's a, a table that we might want to present. You want to have something, some way of saying, hey, this is a table. So here's one way we can do that, by saying, hey, this is a table. And down here is the end of the table. But there's really that doesn't get us very far because this uh, it this doesn't make a lot of sense, um, especially given that we can't remember um, lay this out. The white space is all going to disappear. This is just going to be one line, and that's a mess. So one of the ways we need to divide this is by creating table rows. So we'll create um, four rows here, and we need to have close tags on each of those. So we'll do a close tag. For each row. So now we have four table rows. One, two, three, four. Now at least we have some structure to it, but what we haven't said is the columns. How do we divide this into columns? Um, and let's take the last row to work on. We do that using the TD tag, which is um, hard to remember, but it's uh, table data cell. So um, we start the table data cell here and we end it here. We start it here do this. We end it here. We start one here. We end it here. Ignore my copy and pasting. The important thing here is we have a table row made up of three elements. One, two, three. Each of those elements belongs in their own data cell or for a TD. So we can go ahead and, and um, add in those three data cells in the at least the two rows that precede that one. And again, ignore this copying and pasting. I'm just kind of doing it quickly. Um, it doesn't look right until it's done, but it'll be done. So now we have actually one, two, three rows. And each of those rows has one, two, three data cells um, inside of it. So we've got a three by three grid here. I've left out this last one because I'm going to introduce one last tag, which is TH for table header. And I'll go ahead and close the table header here and open the next one and we'll do that two more times so this is just like the other ones except instead of having tab table data cells we have three table headers let's take a look and see what that looks like file save and we will go back and take a look here and refresh it and you'll see down here we have a table now the table is not pretty because HTML is not for pretty. HTML is to tell the browser what each of the pieces of the page are. So the browser now knows that these are table data cells and this is the header row and it tries to provide something like a table for it. But really we're gonna have to wait till we get to CSS to make this table look halfway decent. But now we have a way, at least, of creating the table.